few minutes, this is immediate. Hi, this is part three of the drive into work. I'm scratching my face. Um, part three of the drive into the work, uh, March 9th, 2023, distant future. If you're watching this in the past, um, we have robots now on flying cars. It's a pretty amazing world piece. Uh, all that good stuff uh, that you knew was going to happen uh, after the year 2000. Um, when Y2K hit, uh, it destroyed all computers. Uh, we now live in a computerless society. Never, ever let that happen again. Y2, Y2K was a really big letdown. Uh, who, who else out here, show of hands, who else was that hoping, uh, you know, that the world would come to a screeching halt for a couple of weeks? Uh, there's nothing. It was barely a blip on the radar. I mean, I know behind the scenes there was a lot of panic, and there was a lot of people that made uh, made big, big money um, in the the years leading up to Y2K because there were a lot of older systems like uh, like especially like um, lawyer firms downtown like there was a lot of stuff that was still run off of like COBOL and stuff like that like old old systems that were never updated and they had to be uh, you know they had to be programming patches had to be made so that when the year turned to 2000 it didn't go back to 1973 or whatever craziness was going to happen uh, once that that t t t ticker hit that, that date it's, it's amazing how many people are now roaming the planet that have no memory of Y2K. Like, uh, you know, not, not only were they born in 2000, but even people that were born after, uh, before 2000, if they're young enough, they have no idea what Y2K was and, like, all the uh, all the hype that was leading up to it. Like, I, I remember a couple of years leading up to it, like, it was, like, a big news story all the time. Like, uh, Y2K. Clouds are going to fall out of the air. Ants are going to stop moving. None of that stuff. Um, they didn't say anything like that. There's another one. Um, I don't know if it's Linux or... I forget what language is, but there, there's another Y2K coming up, and I, I forget what the date... Maybe it passed already. I'm not sure. There's another operating system that has this weird um, date issue, uh, but I, I'm sure it, it was a news story like a couple years ago. It, it's probably everything's been patched. Like, I, I, why can't I remember the detail? Um, I hate the fact that I'm going to have to look it up now. It's like, I should, I should know this. This is a, it's actually one of computers and things. It's like one of the things I'm interested in. I can't believe, I can't remember what operating system or what date it is that there's the uh, new Y2K. Downright embarrassing it is. So after a while, um, I have my GPS on, and uh, it it generally tells me like how long it is to get to work and stuff like that. But I don't I don't follow its directions. So after a while, it just gives up and shows me where I am. <laughs> so I no longer get updates as to the ETA to get to work because it's thinking. Well, it's not thinking. It's thinking that I'm. Uh, well, he's not going to work. I don't know where he's going. I'll just show him where he is. That'll, that'll be good enough. That'll, that'll do. 
That's that's what's happening right now. Just showing me where I am. of the uh, conversation that I did not post to YouTube, uh, we were talking, and one of the phrases uh, that I throw around a lot, um, when I'm talking about, you know, like maybe little math projects that I'm doing for fun, um, or anything else, like requires thinking, like existential, like meaning of life kind of stuff, it, it's pointless, like uh, the, the math stuff is pointless, I do it for fun, I like just like doing it, like, you know, trying to solve the, uh, the, the, the prime number thing. Me and my buddy, I turned him on to it years ago. We've both been kind of hacking away at it here and there. Um, and uh, a phrase, like, I throw around casually is I, I call those kind of activities mental masturbation. And I didn't really put a lot of thought into um, how, <laughs> how that's uh, probably not the best phrase to use, especially around youths. So, um, I, uh, I started compiling a list of alternatives, uh, to mental masturbation, like, uh, mental musing, uh, I'm sorry, merry musing, um, and, uh, I, I, I threw up quite a few others, um, I'm not gonna list them all now, but, uh, try, trying to think of the best, best one to start using instead of the, uh, the old one. is dangerously close to the uh, to the phone, so every time I go to grab the coffee, I, uh, I end up touching the phone ever so slightly, and I keep thinking I've uh, turned off the video, which I have not done yet. Coffee's helping, but it's not the same as getting a good night's sleep. What's even worse is like, uh, like I'm not remote today, so like I'm gonna get up extra early and drive in. So would have been nice, like it would be nice if I tra treated myself better and got to bed at a reasonable hour days when I have to drive into work. Got to like take some responsibility, exercise some self-control, put down the damn phone and go to bed at a reasonable hour. Wow, these guys just keep going through red lights and are stopping us from turning.
number is. Um, but when I was talking to my buddy on the phone yesterday, um, he was talking about made-up words. Now that I think about it, I, I don't know that I coined the phrase um, mental masturbation. Uh, I, I may have gotten that from someone else, but I, I, I don't know who. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, but in the, because that came up, um, I was talking about uh, William Shakespeare, who's credited with, um, and I'm, I'm making this up, but, you know, c creating three quarters of the English lexicon. And uh, it's, that can't possibly be true, but I know it, some large number of words that he created. And, like, this, I think it's ridiculously huge, the amount of words that are attributed to him. My problem with that is if he made up all of these words, how did people understand his plays? If if everything was made up words at the time, did it not just sound like gibberish? start a sentence and just not finish it. I don't think I'm going to get uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee every day, e even though I'm bitching about this coffee. Uh, I'm saying it's terrible. It's good. Uh, I like coffee. Uh, the oh, It's leaking everywhere. Look at that. That's been a that's been a constant issue too. Like the these cups, these lids just aren't great. Anyway, three seventeen or whatever ridiculous amount they charge for a cup of coffee is uh, that's unsustainable. I can't I can't wrap my head around spending that much on coffee every day. Um, I needed it today, but uh, I probably won't buy one tomorrow. So tomorrow's segment will not have. Stop for coffee. I say that now, but uh, who knows? Tomorrow I may be like, I just really need coffee. <laughs> There is no middle ground. There is no 
there is no compromise. Um, like, you, you, if, if, if you're a Democrat, you absolutely loathe Republicans and you blame them for all the evils in the world. And the same is true of Republicans blaming Democrats. It's, uh, like, it's you just you dehumanize them uh, to a very large degree uh, back and forth. And it's... Uh, it's weird. Um, that, that's not my point. My point is um, that it, that effect, um, it seems to be like media driven, like not just the, the news media, like any, any content you can get your hands on. Meaning that if you're searching for something, the way you search for it drives the results that you get. So uh, an example is, like I said, I, I started recently, relatively recently, uh, eating oatmeal for breakfast um, within the past few months, uh, maybe longer. Uh, I've tried to like, have a nice hot bowl of gruel at work in the morning. Um, and whenever I'm eating something that I think it might be healthy, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll say, is oatmeal healthy for you? And like, you know, it'll tell me all the, the benefits of oatmeal, what it does for you, like what it does for your gut health, like how it reduces hunger cravings, how it lowers cholesterol, blah, 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 like all these, these great things. And then like, there's these, uh, these like ad, like mini infomercials. Like there's always somebody trying to sell you some kind of diet thing and like avoid these five foods to improve your gut health and blah, blah, blah. And like, Oh, I would never uh, like, and you'll hear someone say like, I would never recommend oatmeal to anyone. Like that's not a, not a good food to eat. So, instead of searching "is oatmeal good for you," if you search for "is oatmeal bad for you," uh, you will you will get all the opposite results. You will get what you ask for. So you will you will get endless pages on what's wrong with oatmeal, uh, what, it, what how it's bad for you, especially if you have certain certain illnesses or sensitivities to types of food. But it, it just it, it goes on. Um, you know, it's food for horses. It's not for like, and it's just. It's funny, like, so that's, that's the point. Like, you know, you will find what you're looking for. Like, depending on what you're searching for, that's, that's the answer you're going to get. Like, if you're, if you're asking if some, like, the oatmeal's the example, or you, if you're asking if oatmeal's good, it'll tell you all the ways that it's good. If you ask if oatmeal's bad, it will tell you all the ways that it's bad. And um, depending on which way you search for it, that's, that's what you're going to... Um, for the most part, believe because everything on the internet is absolutely one hundred percent falsifiably true. It's just uh, you can carve it in stone. There's no bad information out there. Um, ha ha. Uh, so yeah, like it, that's that's the weird thing. Like so, it, 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 back to politics. If you're you know if you think that Biden is a bad president and you look up all the reasons why Biden is a bad president, you'll find all the stuff about Biden that's bad. If you if you believe Biden is a good president, you're just like, what are all the great things that Biden's done? Like, you'll find endless articles about what, what great president he is, all the good things he's doing. Um, but depending on who you are, you're not... Your search is going to be biased by what you're searching for, and you're going to get that information because it exists out there in bucket loads. Uh, I don't know if there's an actual point that I'm trying to get to, other than the fact that uh, oatmeal made me aware of this. I, I was already aware that. Um, you know, we all live in an echo chamber, whatever, like, just even when it comes down to, like, I don't, I don't want to get metaphysical when you're asked, but, um, like, you know, whatever energies you put out there is what reflects back on you, and it kind of is reflected in that kind of activity. Seeing a lot of these trucks, remember the movie Die Hard? Um, I think it was Die Harder. Uh, um, it had, uh, it had an army of they stole gold. They they, they robbed the, uh, the place downtown. They had all these uh, these dump trucks that they filled with gold. Well, that's the second caravan of those types of trucks that I've seen today. One was in my neighborhood, and this one here is very close to my work neighborhood. I gotta think this is probably the second one because no, 
or maybe this is the third. Like, I... Where does the day go? If this is the third one, why am I not aware? Like, usually the third one, I, I have to cut it off because, um... And I thought I was making good time time today. Yeah, this this has to be the third video. It's, it's weird that I can't keep track, I, I know. But realize, I, like, make between... I make about seven of these a day, and so, and I do it every day that I drive to work, and everything's blending together. I'm old, and uh, time doesn't flow the same way it did when I was younger. Time, time took forever when I was younger. Things didn't last long enough, but I remember, I remember certain summers in my youth literally went on for uh, a couple of years. Now, uh, summers come and go. Like, I feel like when I'm uh, doing pool maintenance, I feel like I, I uncover the pool, clean it, and a couple of minutes later, I'm covering it back up for the winter. I've got a red light. He's got a red light. Everybody's got a red light. Um, if everybody's got a red light, I'm going. oddly takes us to the end. We're in the last 20 seconds of the uh, Ride to Work AM Part 3. Last 10 seconds. I have nothing to fill the time, so I'm just going to say, have a wonderful day. Where's that button?